now we will discuss so <coughs> under term what is called as GDP at market price and GDP at factor cost market price factor cost market price and factor cost <coughs> now when we talk about this factor cost when we talk about this factor cost what this the <coughs> factor cost means the actual cost incurred or what you pay for the factors of production what you pay for the factors of production what are the major factors of production land labor capital entrepreneur okay now here <coughs> in gdp at factor cost or gdp at market price now you try to understand you you as a uh, consumer you as a consumer i'll tell you see this uh, the formula for gdp at factor cost and market price student will always have a confusion to avoid that confusion so that you will not if you know see learn from your real experience what is the price you pay for a final goods or final services which you means the services which you uh, uh, you use or the goods you purchase what is the price for it how it has been added to it then you will uh, it's very easy to calculate means to remember gdp at factor cost and market price now think about a daily item a final goods which you purchase you will be purchasing several item okay now at least monthly we will be purchasing a toothpaste yes or no yes or no you will be purchasing na Month monthly ones yeah so to that toothpaste you will be return a price what is called as mrp will be there and you will be paying only mrp but so normally normally there are some shops which will give you lesser price but normally they can't sell beyond mrp that is the maximum retail price now to this toothpaste now tell me that actually that is the market price you are purchasing this toothpaste from the market market price you are purchasing what all cost will might have been added to that price one is the product cost means how much uh, the product cost will be that will be added there plus any tax will be added to the product which you purchase any tax will be added taxes will be added so keep this in mind this is very important at market prices the market price is the price at which you purchase to all the products which you purchase to all the product which you purchase tax will be added tax will be added and what type of taxes here it will be it will be indirect taxes keep this in mind for all the goods and services for all the goods and services the taxes is indirect tax when we discuss disposable personal income we are discuss what which type of tax direct tax so what is this indirect tax i told you indirect tax to whom the tax is imposed that person have to pay that is direct tax but in indirect tax take the case of this toothpaste here the government have imposed tax on the toothpaste company but actually who is paying the tax it is the customer so what the toothpaste company have done he has shifted that burden the company have shifted the tax burden to the customer so that is what indirect that's why what, what i call it as indirect tax in indirect tax tax burden can be shifted take the case of your mobile phone service tax which you pay the tax is imposed on the mobile company cellular company and the company has shifted that burden to the customer so that's a service tax is a indirect tax service tax is a indirect tax so here to all the products and services when a customer purchase it from the market price at the market price indirect tax will be added now suppose uh, government is giving subsidies the government used to give subsidy to certain products to which product government give subsidy to essential commodities to essential commodities government gives the government thinks that okay if you notice one thing the government is giving subsidy to lpg lpg okay uh, if the government gives subsidy <coughs> now what will happen to the price it will decrease so to the if if the subsidy is given 
So when you purchase an item, when you purchase an item, the indirect tax at if you are purchasing at market prices, if you are purchasing at market prices, indirect tax will be added, subsidies will be deducted. This will, is the reality. Is this what you feel? Is this what you have faced? So, for a pro, at, when you purchase anything at market price, what will happen to the real price? To the real price, that is the price at which it is produced, that is at the factor cost. What will be there? Indirect tax will be added, and subsidies will be deducted. Similarly, same in the case of GDP at market price. GDP at market price. So, if you know GDP at factor cost, if you know GDP at factor cost, to GDP at factor cost, what you have to add? You have to add all the indirect taxes and you have to deduct subsidies. So, GDP, so <coughs> while calculating GDP at factor cost, so at factor cost what they will do? They will calculate, they will calculate at the factors of production. Okay, so normally at the factors of production, no, <coughs> normally the producer, what he get, what he get or the cost incurred by the producer is, is the uh, prices at factors of production. So, if you are calculating at the factor cost, it is GDP at factor cost. But if you are considering at the market price, it is GDP at market price. Now, once you know fact GDP at factor cost, to that what you have to do? You have to add indirect tax and you have to deduct, you have to deduct subsidies. Then what you will get? You will get GDP at market price, GDP at market price. So, you may in the newspaper when you read, you will come across two things. One is GDP at market prices at constant price, both are different. GDP at market prices at constant prices. What is constant price? It is, it is base year price. What is market price? Here in market price, indirect tax is considered or added and subsidy is deducted. So, normally two things when, when we talk about GDP, two things will be there either factor cost or market price or current price or constant price both are different. So, you have to add these two together, you have to add together then only your concept will be, your concept will be very clear. Now, now keep this in mind in January 2015, in January 2015 two important changes happened, two important changes happened. So, till January 2015 till January 2015, GDP at factor cost, GDP at factor cost was our main GDP. We calculate GDP at factor cost only. When? Till January 2015, till January 2015, GDP factor, <coughs> the, the government used to consider only what? GDP at factor cost as their GDP. Now, after January 2015, the government changed. Government says that now, we will not consider GDP at factor cost. When we talk about GDP, it is what? GDP at, GDP at market prices only. We'll, we now calculate national income at GDP at market price and this is the international standard. Now, January 2015 onwards, we started following the international norm. For example, this uh, IMF, IMF all, are all calculating uh, GDP at market price only. So, IMF in their world economic outlook, when they forecast the national income or the economic growth of a country, it is, they are forecasting in relation to, in relation to market price only. So, we shifted from factor cost to market price in January. To the, so, in 2015, so many major, so now onwards, what is our GDP is? GDP at market price at at constant price at constant price. In some places we use this current price also, but our real GDP is for some purposes. If you talk about when we talk about simply if we are, if the government is talking about GDP, which has come in the newspaper, 
it is what actually what it is this it is gdp at market price at constant prices gdp at market price at constant prices be very clear with this concept gdp at market price and constant prices